Howdy folks, and welcome back to Communist Revolutionary Simulator 6. You very nearly didn't get this video today. Mostly because yesterday I handed over a stupid amount of money, and in return I got a set of keys. And, as you can tell, by the little cat meowing piteously in the background... Hello, Akazuki. Uh, I was out most of the day doing all the things that you need to do when you buy a new house. Although I haven't moved in yet, that's happening next Tuesday. And Akazuki is very upset that I have been absent all day. Unfortunately for her, and fortunately for you, uh, when I finally got back, well, home I suppose, although not home for much longer, um, I had to sit down and do a video. So she's going to have to get used to being neglected, at least for another hour or so, while I do this video. So, Communist Revolutionary Simulator 6. In the last episode, we got a very, very disturbing phone call from Clara letting us know that we needed to talk about what happens to the revolution. Now, call me a wise and old cynic, but I strongly suspect that this is the part where Clara reveals her plans to basically stab everybody in the back in order to ensure that Libertad comes out on top when the revolution's over. doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Tania. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. You want to tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're joking, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live. And then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. <laughs> but the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. Oh, okay. I'm actually kind of surprised. That was not at all what I was expecting. Completely misjudged Clara. And completely misjudged Far Cry 6's writers. It turns out they can actually write complex and believable characters when they put their minds together. Who would have thought? Well done. I mean, you know, credit where credit's due. So, we got a new pistol. Looks kind of weird. A mashup between a artillery Luger and something. Let's take a closer look. No, not inventory. Arsenal. There it is. So, oh, oh yeah, there was an update for uh, Far Cry 6 today. You can now assign different loadouts. I should probably take advantage of that at some point, but let's take a quick look at this pistol. 
Yeah, that is an artillery Luger, except they put some kind of foregrip onto it. Not terrible, but it's not as good as the 1911, so I'm not going to be changing weapons anytime soon. Right, anyway. Well, I guess I have to go and deal with Maximus Matanzas again. I may as well get this over with. Come here. Fucking Palo says finding a way off Yara is priority number one. <laughs> he wants to run while we got real problems. I heard our friend Matias is locked up in Marquesa's True Yarin Academy. He's a doctor, but they took his fucking license for helping us out. It's like it's a crime to help anyone who's not a true Yarin. And now they're going to fry his brain till he's dry humping Castillo. I would know. They tried that brainwashing shit on me. Palo won't risk saving Matias until the heat dies down, but you're up for it, right? Wait, what? I mean... Matias is a fucking saint. Don't let Marquesa break him. Yeah, okay, fine. But a day ago, you were all about fuck Libertad, fuck the revolution. We're getting off this island as soon as possible. But now that Paolo's only priority is fuck Libertad, fuck the revolution, we're getting off this island as soon as possible, suddenly you're all about the revolution. Ugh. You know, I think it's just going to be better for everybody concerned if I stop trying to keep track of Talia's motivations because she changes her mind as often as most women change their shoes and then acts as if that was the way she thought all along. Talia, I'm at the academy. Looks like the inmates took over. Oh, fuck yes. Should make this easy. No, listen to me. The army is here. There's going to be a fight. Then get in there and get Matias out before the army storms the place. That's what guerrillas are about and shit. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed right now. A wannabe gangster rapper telling me exactly what it is that I should be doing and how to do it. Thanks for your input, Talia. I can't even begin to imagine how the revolution lasted without you this far. Right. How am I going to get in? Well, I guess I can try the front doors. Although it's never going to be as easy as that. And it would make sense for the doors to be barricaded. You know, the inmates have taken over. Right, who's spotted me? There's a grapple point up there. Come on, where are they? Oh, there's one. Gotcha. Another. I really like this pistol. Much better. You may have heard me mention that once or twice over the uh, previous episodes. Okay, there's at least one more according to the minimap. There he is. Gotcha. Oh, we've got a friend. And that seems to be it. Right. Let's grab the stuff. Although at this point I really don't need more resources. So. Here it is. The torture hospital. I bet you those doors are not open. Nope. Barricaded. Now oh, that makes sense. Although, I'll also bet you that the second I have to defend this place, because you know that's coming, those very same barricades, which are 100% useful at keeping me out, are going to be 0% useful at keeping the army out. <laughs> also, who wants to bet that all of this really bad music playing in the background is copyrighted and this video is going to get demonetized? Because that's what Ubisoft likes to do, isn't it? I mean, say what you like about CD Projekt Red, but at least in Cyberpunk, you had the option of only playing non-copyrighted music, specifically designed to help out people who were streaming or recording videos in the game. Ubisoft? Not so much. Okay, we're in. Now, where's this doctor? Twist it. Oh, that was easy. You're Matias? You don't look like a doctor. Why? What's a doctor supposed to look like? What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Talia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor! 
so we're in a hospital that doesn't have any medical supplies. Well, I mean, yeah, I suppose that's medical supplies are normally kept in the pharmacy. Wait, where's the pharmacy? Ubisoft, I don't think hospitals work the way you seem to think they do. <laughs> Seriously, every time somebody wants to prescribe an aspirin, they have to get them from all the way over there. <laughs> oh, and it was all going so well up until now. <laughs> uh, uh, there's something down here. Some kind of loot. Call it the mini map. Might be a shortcut over to the pharmacy building as well. Oh, hang on. Did I miss it? I did miss it. Ah. Another weapon. Some kind of sniper rifle. Sniper rifles are a complete waste of time in this game. Just use your pistol. <laughs> it's more accurate. And it does more damage. And it has better range. And yeah, that includes 50 caliber sniper rifles. <laughs> The old Colt 1911 45 ACP beats them hands down. This tunnel does lead to the pharmacy building, which was what, 300 metres away from the actual hospital? At the end of a road? Does that make sense? <sighs> anyway, so the pharmacy building is secured by a couple of soldiers who were apparently completely oblivious to all of the gunfire going on at the other end of the road. There's one. Hostages. There's another. I know what the fuck that was. There's at least one more. Oh, there we go. Look out for flames. And there's still at least. No, that's it. That's all of them. Okay, cool. Let's go and grab the medical supplies. You seriously have all of your medical supplies? Ooh, there's a crate. I'll take that. That's it. All right, fine, Mathias, whatever. Have your kids. Get back fast. Soldados are at our door. Ah, so the army turned up in force. Oh look, it's another one of those bright red, suspiciously loudly ticking tripwires. It's a good job that was so obvious, or I might have hurt myself. <laughs> Although to be fair, I have accidentally ran into a couple of them, despite the glaringly obvious nature of the trap. Sometimes I'm just not paying attention to where I'm going. Right, anyway, the troops are back. Well, there don't appear to be too many of them. And I should at least be behind them. So, okay, there's one. Really? Is that it? Can't be it. Gotta be more than that. Oh, there's another one. And there is at least one more. Can't die. Or is there? I thought I saw somebody over there, but no. Okay. Right, so that was the army's response, was it? Two guys. That can't be it. Let's get the medical supplies back to uh, Matthias. Was that his name? I can't remember. Let's see what happens, because there is no way it's going to be as simple as this. The trauma kit. Gracias. I need to stabilize him, Danny. Keep the soldados off my back. Nobody gets close. Nothing. Yeah, here it is. Although, according to the mini map, I'm on the wrong side of the hospital. Yep, there's nobody here. So, I mean, the mission itself is pretty straightforward. You're defending a building. You shoot anybody who's trying to get in. As far as this kind of mission goes, it's executed perfectly competently. I mean, nobody's really pushing the boat out here when it comes to mission design, but you know exactly what to expect going in, and it works pretty much exactly as it should. It's a perfectly acceptable mission. If they could all just stop throwing grenades at me for a moment, that would be worth it. I'm going to have to use my healing supreme right here. And, you know, the fact that it isn't a complete pushover, I suppose, is a good thing. I'm not just sitting up here on the balcony and mowing them all down as they try to shoot my dog. Get away from the chorizo, you bastards. Um, they will try to flush you out of position with grenades. 
which are pretty effective. So I have I have no complaints whatsoever about this actual mission. There are a couple of comedy moments though. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, the barricaded doors, which were 100% successful at keeping me out, are no problem whatsoever for the army. They'll go through those doors like a 380mm shell overmatching 16mm of armour the second you let them get close enough to do it. So, like I said, they're not exactly pushing the boat out here as far as mission design is concerned, but what they're doing is perfectly well executed. You know, it works. That does not, of course, <laughs> mean that there aren't a couple of comedy moments, because this is Far Cry 6. So, it's almost over and I'm looking for the last couple of enemy troops and it occurs to me that they're actually inside the building. So, I go looking. Come on, where are you? Somebody saw me. He's back. Oh, there he is. Oi! <laughs> where, where, where are you going? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I'd like to think it's just the last surviving enemy soldier thinking, fuck that shit, I'm out. <laughs> but it's much more likely. But it's probably just a case of some hilariously inept AI pathfinding. I took care of the soldados. And I took care of my patient. Come see me. We did good, um... Danny, from Libertad. You've done this before, no painkillers? Give me a hand. Only through Yarns get proper medical care. The rest get me. When I did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then, Paolo didn't blink. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to Castillo's paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live, thanks to you. And that was that. A perfectly well-executed, pretty competent mission. Can't wait to hear how Talia is going to try to make it sound as if she did everything. Talia, I got Matias out. Gracia. And Paolo will thank you when he finds out. Danny, you're one of the good ones. Plenty of good ones in Libertad, you know. I think you'd fit right in. Okay, slow down, Danny. If we break more chains, show Marquesa and Castillo that they can't keep us down, maybe I'll consider Libertad. Maybe. Huh. I have to admit, that's not the response I was expecting either. It's remarkably out of character for the Talia we all know and love so far. And I did allow myself to start thinking, just for a few minutes, that maybe Talia was starting to become not a hateful piece of shit. I was worried that I might have to start helping myself to a large dose of humble pie and reassess my opinion of the character, but don't worry. <laughs> She's going to show her true colours sooner rather than later. All of that, however, is definitely going to have to wait for another episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. As always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.